On December 4, 2011, media reports stated that the Iranian Army's Electronic Warfare Unit successfully brought down an American RQ-170 unmanned aerial vehicle, which had violated Iranian airspace along its eastern border. The interception involved overriding the drone's controls, resulting in the capture of the UAV with minimal damage. Shortly after, U.S. officials acknowledged that a drone affiliated with the CIA crashed in or near Iranian airspace. By April 2012, Iran claimed to have reverse-engineered the RQ-170 and asserted that they were in the process of constructing replicas of the UAV. In 2014, they introduced the Shad-171 Simard drone, along with several other scaled-down versions, all derived from the captured American drone. So, in this video, we explore this intriguing story and the Iranian drones born from the captured RQ-170. Iran's account of the electronic interception of the sophisticated American drone begins with their experts essentially using a hack to deceive the drone. According to Iran, they successfully manipulated the drone's navigation system, guiding it to land in what it believed to be its actual base in Afghanistan, only to discover it had landed in Iranian territory. Interestingly enough, this operation relied on reverse engineering techniques developed through examining less advanced American drones captured or shot down in previous years. The key vulnerability exploited was identified in the drone's GPS navigation system, considered its weakest point. The U.S. government initially denied the claims, but President Obama eventually acknowledged that the downed aircraft indeed belonged to the Central Intelligence Agency. While U.S. officials hesitated to officially confirm that the UAV was indeed an RQ-170, a former official subsequently verified that the drone was, in fact, an authentic RQ-170 used for surveillance of Tehran's nuclear facilities. The RQ-170 Sentinel, also referred to as Wraith, is an American UAV developed by Lockheed Martin's highly secretive department Skunk Works. Operated by the United States Air Force on behalf of the CIA, there are around 30 of these UAVs built as of 2024. Despite limited details released by the USAF regarding its design and capabilities, we do know that it functions as a stealth aircraft equipped mainly with aerial reconnaissance tools. Introduced in 2007, the UAV features a flying wing design and relies on a single engine, believed to be either a General Electric TF-34 turbofan or a Garrett TFE-731. After capturing the UAV, the U.S. administration requested its return, a plea dismissed by Iran's defense minister. Instead, Iran declared its intent to reverse-engineer the RQ-170 Sentinel. By April 2012, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps claimed to have extracted all drone data and initiated the construction of a replica. In 2014, Iran unveiled the Shad-171 Simmer, a stealth drone reverse-engineered and completely modeled after the US RQ-170 drone. The Shad stealth drone family comprises five variants designed for combat and reconnaissance, each assessed based on its size relative to the RQ-170 or Shad-171 drone. The Shad-171 drone, nicknamed Simmer, is a 100% scale replica identical to the RQ-170 Sentinel. It features a Talao 14 turbofan engine, boasting a flight endurance of 10 hours and a maximum range of 4,400 kilometers. Other specifications include a flight ceiling of 12,000 meters or 40,000 feet, a maximum takeoff weight of around 3,000 kilograms, and a maximum speed of 460 kilometers per hour. Similar to the RQ-170 UAV, the Shad-171 utilizes a shield for its thermal camera, reducing its radar cross-section. The Shad-191 and 181 drones, also known as Sega, are both 60% scale versions of the 171. Additionally, there are two other variants, Shad-141 and 161, both 40% scale versions of Shad-171 in terms of dimensions. They all use different engines and have slightly different mission roles. So, do you find this story as intriguing as we do? 
let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more defense news and analyses.